Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add attachments and files and share these with all participants in a Google Meet. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now in order for you to share attachments with your participants, we're going to have to approach Google Meet in a very different way. Now let's have a look at the Google Meet interface first. Now here you can see I have my Google Meet open and in the bottom left corner when I click on that button right there, I have two extra tabs. Now the first one is a details tab and this gives me the share link and the join information that I can then share with participants. This is also where I can now copy that joining information. However, the second tab is attachments and that means that every meeting you have and every meeting room you open can also have its own set of files, attachments, video files, PDFs, etc. linked to it. That means that everyone in that room automatically gets access to these files and you can discuss these files together and you can even access them at the same time. Now how do we set this up? Now in order for us to do this we're going to have to set up our meeting in a very different way. We're going to have to set it up through Google Calendar. So let's go ahead and open up our Google Calendar. Here I'm going to click on the nine dots in the top right corner and I'm going to dive into my Google Calendar. Now once in your calendar, let's start by creating an event later today. So we're going to click on a time later today and then we're going to create this event. Now I'm going to title this event a demo event with files. Now in addition to giving our event a title, we're going to click on more options. Now once we've clicked on more options, you'll see that there's a number of different things we can do. Now the first thing we have to do is make sure that this event is linked to a meet event. So what we're going to do here is under add conferencing, we're going to select hangouts meet. Now that's not where it stops. Now, as soon as you click on that, a meeting room is generated and a link is generated and you can start inviting guests. So let's go ahead and invite our guests. I'm going to just quickly pop in that email address there and invite the guests. Now, because I want to share files with them, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to scroll down. Now here under attachments, I'm going to click on that and now I can start adding my own attachments. Now these can be brand new files that I'm uploading from my computer or files that are already stored in Google Drive. Now I'm going to show you both. So let's go ahead and upload a file from my Google Drive. There we go. I'm going to add in, let's say a Google document. So we're going to find a Google document. And then we're also going to upload a file from the computer. So we're going to go to upload and then we're going to select a file from our hard drive. Now this can be, again, any type of file. So let's go ahead and find a PDF file. There we go, we're going to upload this file as well. You can now see at the bottom where there's a description field, there are two attachments that are linked to this event. Now they're not yet linked to that meeting, but because we've added conferencing and Google Meet, this will be linked together. So now let's go ahead and click on save. I'm going to save this event at the top and we are not going to send out an invite. Now because some of these files are not yet shared with our participants, we are getting an extra notification box. This is going to give you an extra chance to double check the permissions you're giving to everyone in that meeting and if you really want to share these files. So let's go ahead and share these files. I'm going to click on invite and they are now given access. Now, what does this look like to the viewer and what does it look like on Google Meeting? Well, let's jump back onto Google Meeting. We're going to open up Google Meet and here you can see I now have my meeting. I'm going to just hang up because I no longer need that and I'm going to go to the home screen. Now here on my home screen, you can see I now have a scheduled meeting for later today. And when I click on that, I can dive into that meeting room. Now let's go ahead and join the room and let's see if we have access to those files. Let's go back to the bottom and you'll see that there is now an extra icon down below that signals that there are also files that are attached to this meeting. So let's go ahead and click on this and it opens up these two attachments. You can see I have access to that Google Doc and I have access to the PDF file. And when I click on the Google Doc, it simply opens it up in a second window and I have access to that file. I can start editing, I can start collaborating. This is a great way of setting up your classrooms online, invite your students and then also share the necessary files. Now all this can be done via that calendar workaround. Now that's not the only way you can get to it because if you remember correctly from my videos on Google Classroom, 
every classroom has a calendar attached to it. So if you set up your event by going to classroom first and then linking it to the calendar on your classroom, well then you can get this done and everyone in that classroom will be invited. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, scroll down into that comment section below and let me know what are your favorite tips or tricks for others watching this video when using Google Meet. Now once you've left your comments, scroll back up, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can be notified of future videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.